Okay, now that everything's in the GIMP, we uh, need to start with straightening. We'll want to do either straight across, up or down. For this case, up and down is going to be a better place to do the straightening. We come over here to this tool, click Rotate. We're going to want corrective background and preview image and grid. And all we do is click into the picture. We get our grid. I'm going to move this off to the side. I probably should have zoomed in, but that's okay with this will work. And we're going to want it uh, lining up on one of those lines. That's pretty good. Maybe uh, increase the number of lines. There we go. We're right on it. Okay, we've got our lines lined up. We click rotate. Okay, it rotated it for us. Now we're going to want to uh, crop the area we're going to work in. Find the little knife. And all we do is draw a box around the image we need. Yeah, this kind of starts showing you the barrel effect. And all we do is hit enter. Now we need to uh, maybe play with the colors to bring out everything a little better. Come up here to colors, levels. Now we can use this uh, color picker. I found with the white it kind of blows the center out a little bit. This ain't too bad, but yeah, I'd like it a little darker. The big thing that's going to help you, let me pull that into the center, is this mid-tones. That's the wrong way, made it too dark, so we're going to go a little above one. Now, as you can tell, down here in the corners, it's much more readable. This is edited. This is before. After. That's where uh, digital has very good quality. We can play with these mid-tones. So, let's click OK. And that's not too bad. So I promised you how to play with the perspective a little bit. Let's take this. We can up and down's pretty good. I'm just going to pull the grid lines to where I want the edges to be. Actually, let's play with the levels on that, too. Now that one I'm just playing with the mid-tones. We're going to click OK. Now, to take care of that perspective problem, we're going to come over here to the Perspective tool. 
click it, click in the image, let's move that off to the side, and for this it's actually a little better to zoom out a little bit, and we just grab these little corners, drag the corner of the page where we want it, And that looks pretty straight with those lines, so let's hit Enter, or we can actually come over here and click Transform. We can actually hide the grids now. And that's pretty much it. Is that quick and easy? Come in here and uh, crop it. And we can save it and send it off to whoever we want. So I hope this helps you. And like always, enjoy.